I totally agree with uh, Greg, and we all need role model and mentor. So next, I would like to invite my mentor and the role model, Mr. Sandy Chow, Asian American pioneer, entrepreneur, and investor who has inspired many civic leaders. He's also the founder uh, and president of Civic Leadership USA to give us a short speech before we come to the next panel. So Ms. Sandy Chow, you're there and microphone is yours. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so uh, humbled by so many uh, good uh, ideas and then be communicated. Uh, and then I was uh, uh, so happy to see uh, uh, Fiona Moore and uh, Mike Connors, uh, hi, and then the uh, and so many friends uh, among us. And then I would say uh, you are truly uh, inspiring me so much. I would say basically when we were talking about vote, uh, I <clears throat> I would say the hardest thing uh, for us is this: uh, uh, every, every registered vote is so difficult, and then the uh, and then cause a lot of uh, effort whatsoever. So therefore, basically. I would say whenever we have uh, is uh, get people to register. If you're not registered, uh, I think the Asian Americans are very low in terms of uh, registration rate. And then the uh, continuous like today, and then we're talking about voter registration that what next is voter education. I would say a lot of times, uh, I think this uh, is really a wonderful panel to talk about uh, we need to be educated why we vote, uh, what is the inf uh, uh, what we have to know, and then what kind of stand, what kind of need that that we have and what kind of issue that we're facing. And then and then we need that kind of conviction and that's what Mike mentioned about is us when, when people don't care and then they, they have empathy, that is really the killer of <clears throat> us not able to make any stand and any voice uh, among us. So therefore what next is actually, you, you have to register, you have to be educated, and then you have to participate. And then in participate in a certain situation, I would say the Asians are ne need, uh, and then later on we can uh, uh, talk about unity, we have to be certain common cause and then we the stand together. There's sort of value because the Asians are ignored during the past. And then uh, the, the, the first thing that we need to do is unite it together. And then at least we have to be above the water and able to breathe. And then we're able to breathe and do something. So therefore, I, I would say we have some pioneer, but not enough. We have uh, uh, Mike and Anthea. We have uh, <clears throat> so many other people already in Congress, but somehow is still not representative because uh, in order to represent all the Asians, uh, right now we ought to have at least 30 Congress uh, person in the Congress. So therefore we're very much behind. So therefore in, in such a case, I think I can see the, all the enthusiasm today and then we just need the urgency for it. And then what I think is us, uh, among the Asian Americans, uh, we still need uh, some kind of uh, common course and uh, common value. And as Grace said, the uh, Asian Americans uh, are really qualified, sometimes they even overqualifies us because we are the most educated group, we are the most concerned group, we are the most uh, informed group. And then that's, these are the power. I think uh, is is uh, I can see just the participants uh, of today and what the intelligence uh, is being communicated. We just need to harness all the power and then all the unity, and then to <clears throat> to to get our voice over because uh, it it will make a difference. Because uh, I understand that uh, this year uh, <clears throat> the, the the we were able to. To the uh, the Senate uh, is 50-50 in the Atlanta, uh, in the Georgia uh, uh, Senate's uh, runoff. Uh, the total Asian vote is about 2.6 percent to 2.7 percent, and then the uh, 1.7 percent voted for the, the new senator in, and one only one percent of Asian vote uh, vote otherwise. 
So therefore, basically, the standard is warned by much less than 0.7%, but the Asian overwhelming uh, voting, and then make all the difference in the uh, standard balance. So therefore, basically all that, it, it just showed that our vote matters. So therefore, basically, I, I would say <clears throat> it takes many, many little steps to move forward. And rather than one incidence, I think we should get one and the two and the three. But in order to do that, that, that means that not only we need to vote, we need to have some unity for common cause. And another thing is this, I, I think what our council, congressman and then the uh, <coughs> city council and then uh, uh, supervisor for, uh, for county and then, and, then, and then assembly and the center for the state, I think is us, uh, our voice should count. But somehow, in order to make the total inference, I would say the Asian Americans uh, in certain groups were too much isolated. So therefore, basically, we, had, we need to reach out. We need to reach out all the other ethnic group, <clears throat> the mainstream, the Latino, the, uh, uh, the Blacks, and then we should have in such way, unless we have a lot of in positive impact of them, and then they feel we're so important that really support us, that the Asian really can suffice. So therefore, basically, uh, listening to today, I just feel so much encouraged. And I really felt that the energy that I really feel <laughs> energized. And then I can see because all this gathering just gave me hope. And, and I really thank you uh, for, <clears throat> for, for leading this charge. And then uh, just seeing the charge gave me a lot of goosebumps. And then I just feel energized. I'm so happy to be with this group. Thank you very much. Thank you.